So hello everyone. In this video, we will do our social science chapter that is our environment. So first, we'll see what is environment. So let's begin. Environment. The term environment refers to all external conditions in which an organism lives. It comes from the French word environnement, which means to surround. The natural environment, which is made by nature, includes biotic and abiotic components. The term environment refers to all external conditions in which an organism lives, and it comes from the French word that is uh, that is environnement, which means to surround. And the natural environment, which is made by the nature, is is include uh, includes the uh, biotic and abiotic components. Okay. Now lithosphere. What is lithosphere? Lithosphere is the out, uh, rocky outermost layer of the earth is known as the lithosphere. The average thickness of lithosphere is about 100 km and it is very 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 much important because it provides land for building houses, building roads, uh, building roads, building factories and for agriculture. The rocky outermost layer of the earth is known as the lithosphere, which is the uppermost layer of the earth. And the thickness of the and the average thickness of the lithosphere is 100 kilometers. And lithosphere is very important. Why? Because it provides land for building houses, for, build, for uh, building roads, for building uh, factories, and for agriculture. We can do anything of our own land. Okay. Hydrosphere. The water present on the earth's surface is referred to as the hydrosphere. Water is also found below the surface of the earth as ground water. Fresh water is made available on the earth on land through the process of water cycle. You learnt about water cycle in lower classes. Okay, so uh, now fresh water is made available on land through the process of water cycle. And the uh, water that present on the earth's surface is known as the hydrosphere. Water is also found below the surface of the earth that we call as ground water. Okay, clear hydrosphere. Now let us begin to... Atmosphere. Atmosphere. The envelope, envelope of air which surrounds the earth is known as the atmosphere. The atmosphere prevents the sun's harmful rays from reaching the earth's surface. It controls the extremes of temperature during day and night. The air which is uh, which surrounds the earth is known as the atmosphere. The atmosphere prevents the sun's harmful rays, that is, ultraviolet rays, UV rays, from reaching the Earth's surface. It controls the extremes of temperature during day and night. Okay, clear atmosphere. Now, let's begin to biosphere. The narrow zone where lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere meet and interact is known as the biosphere, where atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere meet and interact is known as the biosphere, where atmosphere, hydrosphere, and lithosphere meet is known as the biosphere. Now let's begin. Ecosystem. Now, what is ecosystem? The complex system of interactions between the organisms and the physical environment in a particular area is referred to as an ecosystem. Uh, the complex systems of, uh, system of interactions between the organisms and their physical environment in a particular area is uh, like is known as the uh, is referred to as an ecosystem. So now, some questions for you. 
The animal of us has returned the earth is not is known as is known as what? Lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere or biosphere. Now the right answer is atmosphere. Okay. Next question. The rocky outermost layer of the earth is known as the lithosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, biosphere. The rocky outermost layer of the earth is known as the lithosphere. It is known as lithosphere. The rocky outermost layer of the earth is known as lithosphere. Blank comes from the French word environ, which means to surround. Environment, ecosystem, biotic and abiotic component, both A and B. Now, blank com comes from the French word environ, which means to surround. Environment comes from the French word environ, which means to surround. Okay, so now the next question is what includes biotic and abiotic components? The natural environment includes biotic and abiotic components, human environment includes biotic and abiotic components, ecosystem includes biotic and abiotic components, or all of the above. So the right answer is the natural environment includes biotic and abiotic components okay now the next question is the earth day is celebrated on blank the earth day is celebrated on 29th april 22nd april 31st march 12th july now the earth day is celebrated on 22nd april that is uh Twenty uh, second April is known as the Earth Day. Every year it is celebrated on twenty uh, second April. Okay, so so this was for the video. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. Bye bye.